It has been too long since we have looked at my portfolio of fasten your seatbelts, folks. This is going to be a good one. I keep my long-term investments in my Wealth Simple portfolio because they are not only easy to use, but they're also commission-free, and they also allow me to hold U.S. accounts. It really is a fantastic broker for the long-term investor. In fact, if you are not yet using Wealth Simple, go down below and use my link, as you will get a bonus of up to three thousand dollars free just for signing up. The average payout, though, is usually between five and ten dollars but I do know a few people have gotten some pretty nice paydays in that uh, in that sign up process. We have a lot of stocks to get to so we're just going to jump right in right away. We're going to start with my TFSA on the Canadian side. Up first we have Canadian Bank Corps with a ticker of BK. I own 95 shares for a 1.63% stake in my portfolio. This stock is well it's a dividend play for me with a yield above 14%. The next stock is Canadian National Railway with a ticker of CNR. I hold 25 shares for a 4.84% stake in my portfolio. This is a great recession-proof stock and it is a total return play for me. A newer stock in my portfolio is Canadian Tire with a ticker of CTC.A. I own 10 shares for a 2.09% stake in my Wealth Simple portfolio. Like CNR, this one is also a total return stock. Up next is Diversified Royalty with a ticker of DIV. I own 1,225 shares for a 5.07% stake in my portfolio. They have a pretty good dividend and I'm also expecting some solid growth from them as well. That takes us to community favorite, Canu EIT, with a ticker of EIT.UN. I own 500 shares for a 8.09% stake in my portfolio. They are easily the highest stake in my portfolio. I may still be a little bit too diversified into them, but I'm not selling them. They do have very reliable dividends, and we do get a little bit of growth as well with this one. So definitely a stock I'm holding on to forever. Next, we we have eSplit Core with a ticker of ENS. I own 223 shares for a 4.25% stake. This Split Core invests primarily in Enbridge and they've been pumping out some very steady dividends. No disappointment with this one at all. Up next we have Freehold Royalties with a ticker of FRU. I own 125 shares for a 2.5% 4% stake. This is another one of those royalty companies I absolutely love. Reliable dividends and growth to boot. Fortis comes in next with a ticker of FTS. This is the first stock I have ever owned, so it has a special place in my heart just for that reason. I do currently hold 60 shares for a 4.11% stake in my portfolio. Next, we have the Hamilton Enhanced Multi-Sector Covered Call ETF with a ticker of HDIV. I hold 218 shares for a 4.22% stake. This is definitely a dividend play for me with their yield not far off the 10% mark. Up next, we have the Harvest equal weight global utilities ETF with a ticker of HUTL. I hold 202 shares for a 4.44% stake in my portfolio. They do have some pretty decent dividends and I see some growth potential with this one as well. That takes us to the Hamilton Enhanced US Covered Call ETF with a ticker of HYLD. I own 293 shares for a total stake of 4.24%. This one is hands down 100% a dividend play for me. Coming in next we have Pizza Pizza Royalty Corporation with a ticker of PZA. I own 253 shares for a 4.32% stake. This is a stock with nice dividends and a lot of growth potential. Our next stock is the Horizons Enhanced Income International Equity ETF, which has that fun ticker of QQCC. I currently hold 100 shares for a 1.20% stake in my portfolio. This is a stock with a floating dividend, but it does tend to often to float on the higher side. I also see some growth potential with this one when the markets begin to recover. Next, we have the Slate Grocery REIT. Well, the ticker of SGR.UN, I hold 226 shares for a 4.83% stake. This is a REIT with some good dividends and a lot of growth potential. I really, really like this REIT. In next, we have Sir Royalty with a ticker of SRV.UN. I hold 240 shares for a 4.13% stake. So far in my portfolio, this this has been a total return superstar. That takes us to Talus with a ticker of T. I hold 100 shares for a 3.36% stake. Another great blue chip total return stock. 
Next up, we have Timber Creek Financial with a ticker of TF. I own 403 shares for a 4.05% stake in my portfolio. They have a reliable dividend, and I am expecting some growth out of them as well on the other side of the bear market. Now we have Tourmaline with a ticker of TOU. I own 65 shares for a 4.82% stake. Solid dividends, special dividends, and a lot of growth. Enough said on this one. That takes us to the iShares S&P TSX Capped Energy Index ETF with a ticker of XEG. I own 190 shares for a 3.65% stake. I do love this ETF, and when oil is doing well, it is an overachiever for sure. The last stock in my Canadian TSX FSA is the Purpose Tesla Yield ETF with a ticker of YTSL. I currently hold 242 shares for a 7.01% stake. This is an ETF that has been delivering crazy dividends and crazy growth. It has not settled down yet, but for now, it maintains a starring role in my portfolio. Okay, let's take a look at what I have in my USD TFSA. We will start with Alphabet with a ticker of GOOG. I currently hold 20 shares for a 2.96% stake in my portfolio. This one is 100% a growth play. In addition to Google, we also have Microsoft with a ticker of MSF. FT. I own seven shares for a 2.89% stake. This is also a very good growth stock. Finally, in my USD TFSA, we have United Pacific Railroad with a ticker of UNP. I hold five shares for a 1.61% stake in my portfolio. With this one, they do have a little bit of dividends as well. Normally, my dividend stocks I throw over into my RRSP, but in this case, I'm only really interested in the growth for UPN, hence the reason it is sitting where it is. Okay, let's shift over to my Canadian RRSP. We start off with the iShares S&P TSX Dividend Aristocrats ETF, who has a ticker of CDZ. I currently hold 15 shares for a stake of 0.57%. Up next, we have CP Rail with a ticker of CP. I own 11 shares for a 1.41% stake. I do love railroads, and this is a position I would love to increase in the future. Next, we have the Hamilton Canadian Financials Yield Maximizer ETF, which has a ticker of HMAX. I currently only hold 15 shares for a 0.30% stake. This is a new holding in my portfolio, and it will definitely be looking for some growth. So that takes us to Loblaws, which has a ticker of L. I hold four shares for a 0.59% stake. Once again, this is another great total return company. Up next, we have National Bank with a ticker of NA. I currently I currently own 10 shares for a 1.22% stake in my portfolio. This is another stock I have been getting kind of excited for. In fact, look forward to a deep dive on this one coming soon. That takes us to Smart Centers REIT with a ticker of SRU.UN. I currently hold 15 shares for a 0.51% stake. All right, moving on. We are now going to go to Toronto Dominion Bank with a ticker of TED. I hold three shares for a 0.34% stake. This is another bank I would love to add more to. The last stock in my Canadian RRSP is the Vanguard All Equity ETF with a ticker of VEQT. I I own 14 shares for a 0.58% stake. This is a good stock for international exposure, and it's also 100% a growth play as they only pay out their dividends once a year. Let's look at my USD RRSP. We will begin with Apple, which has a ticker of AAPL. I currently own five shares for a 1.21% stake. This is a great growth stock for sure. Up next, we have Cross Timbers Royalty Trust, which has a ticker of CRT. I currently own 10 shares for a 0. 0.25% stake. This is a very solid total growth stock. I will be adding more to this position for sure. Coming in next, we have Coca-Cola, which has a ticker of KO. I own nine shares for a 0.89% stake. This is another great growth stock. Finally, we have McDonald's with a ticker of MSCD. I hold two shares for a 0.87% stake. This is also another one I would really love to add a few more shares to. So there it is, my entire Wealthsimple portfolio. I publish these videos each quarter but if you want to see more, just follow me on Blossom and you can see my entire portfolio any day of the week. If you have not yet signed up to Blossom, I will add that link below for you as well. Keep the learning going. Watch my video on Aritzia, linked on the left, or test YouTube's recommendation skills by checking out the video on the right. Your choice will decide the winner. See you in the next video.